Welcome guys, so, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is episode 6 of The Front. And I was thinking that I would take you on a small field trip this time. Because I got a little bit annoyed of uh, always trying to farm the iron over the quarry. So I thought can't really be the only place that I can find iron mats, so I am exploring. And uh, let's see if we can find some place where iron fortune might smile at us. This looks like copper. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed so far. And this wonderful little, or oh, not little, but actually pretty big game. But I think, yeah, it has a lot of potential. And I hope you're up for the long run as much as I am. Look at this. Fortune smiles at us. Oh, and more down there. So, I guess... Oh, there's a lot here. Let's get cracking. like there's a little house down there we can have a look at. Or oh, shed. Oh, look at that over there. That looks a bit out my league yet. <laughs> That's quite a big base, isn't it? see I'm here oh it's that part there probably that's a big place <coughs> well I guess it's up for raiding at some point once we get enough good gear let's see Stamina. Thankfully, it replenishes decently fast. And this is also something the food, I don't know if you noticed, but the food will actually help you a little bit with stamina for a period of time. Equipment break. Ah, well, well. Better than nothing, I guess. Ah, there's one more here. Waste belt. Lead, iron shovel. Okay, but this place, gotta remember that. Where are we? We are in L6. L6, and the base is over here. So it's basically just down the beach. Oh, pretty close. There's a new set of houses here, huts. Maybe there's some useful mats in there. Give it a look. Nothing outside. Best prepared, I guess. Oh, 
Plus a little bit of bandage. But no vagrants or anything. Huh. Yeah. My own turning around just spooked me. <laughs> no one getting mad? Hmm. Let's check this out then. <gasps> oh! There we go. Don't you dare. A little bit of iron. But I see a crate in here. Behind. Yeah. Ah. Well, let's head back and smelt some iron. And I think the grilled or the fish basket might be decently stuck now, so we can finish that task. Get it out of the way. Oh. Wonder what I got that. Is that from farming or picking up stuff? see what that lighthouse is about. I think I actually spawned on one of my first games. I spawned on the opposite side. So if I'm correct, that house lighthouse contains a lot of gun people. So maybe not just yet, but at some point we will go to... Oh, look at all that wood. Then this one must be interesting as well. Come on. Stone and hide. Nice. We'll give a lot of leather. Well, that means there must be something in these as well. Go there. Can't remember what this is. Oh, what's the other one, right? One up here. A coupler. That looks like an expensive item to build, at least. Nice one. Okay, let's see. No, no, just one. That one over there. No one spawned here yet. That's curious. Nothing here, no. Not the boat. All that stuff. Red outside. Nice. I guess that improves accuracy. Just grab the fish. Lots of fish. Yes, now we can get that task away. And that will give us, with all this iron, I hope that gives us an opportunity to try and make the floor spikes so we can uh, test it out on the event. Uh, but first, let's things first, let's get the fish done. Ah, excellent, good. And then, let's see, I did learn how to make resin, so I just have to remember which one is that, that's this one. And that's made by wood. Uh, and thankfully I have a lot of it. So let's make, because I know I'm going to need a lot of resin. 
just gonna let that simmer or work on its own. Oh, look at all this water. This is perfect. Mm. I think I'm gonna eat that pie. And maybe strawberry. This we can throw out and then we can store some of the items. Fish is done. We can throw away this and this. Before the floor spikes, I will actually want to make the crate or oh, chest. Right word. Now we can. Start up one thing two. And then I'm gonna start at the other end this time. Because I don't know how they might jump space wise. And you see, these have a lot more space than the other ones. I think it's almost double, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 6, 48. So this is 24, right? Yeah. So it's double the size. Eventually, I will move all the stuff over there. Um, we were gonna make. We did that. Then we're gonna craft flow spikes, which is on tech. Yeah, we need iron for that, and we made out of found a lot of iron. Go there. Toss it. To yeah, let's do that. We're gonna put it all. While we do that, <coughs> we can springboard. What does that require? Iron as well. Rope. Make a lot of rope. Let's make 50. There we go. Just go and get some more. to make um, these or place them these are actually dependent on you know uh, foundations and floors and this is of course dependent on walls so in order to place them you have to make uh, I will make a foundation as well and then we gotta place it somewhere where it makes sense uh, where you know they're gonna, you know they're gonna pass on it or run over it. So it's probably gonna be around here somewhere. There's not a lot of space to put it in here, which would have been optimal, I think. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna place a foundation. We're gonna build a wall and we're gonna do both, both an arrow wall and then the spike floor once the rope is done. Get some mats here, maybe repair this with coax. There we go. Nope. Oh, yeah. 
That's the thing, I can't repair them when I'm crafting. Now, the thing is, I want to see, can I actually build a wall? I haven't tried that yet. I want to place a wall down here on this side and turn that into an arrow wall. So they both get the spikes, they also get the arrows. Let's see if we're allowed to do that. So far, so good. And then we go for the this one, which needs iron. And we still have some. Oh, we had a lot of, lot of it. Lot of it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we make that. And this actually requires arrows you have to insert into the wall as inventory. So we're gonna make... I think I had... I tried building it once and I think I have added like 150 and it really didn't use that many. So... We're gonna do that. it uh, let's just stick to the 100 now the big test oh yes so far so good so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up and you see the arrow wall has its own inventory and that's where you stick the arrows once they're ready just gonna let it keep building and then we can just empty the bags in the meantime and soon we'll be ready for a new uh, beacon event. So let's see. We're gonna try and stay consistent here. So, I'm gonna place all these special items in one box. More of those? Nope. But then we're gonna take this, 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 this. Just crafting items. I call them special items, and yeah, pretty much just mean you know finished manufactured items. Uh, no. uh, I guess that's it. Place that. Maybe just. Mm -hmm. This is a bit hard. Die soon. I mean, it is a mess right now, but that's just the way it is. We will clean it up. Maybe I'll do that between. Uh, streams actually, so we don't have to watch that. Yeah, but for now, I just want to get rid of the event. Arrows are done. Let's get out here. Let's stop this. This. Okay, spears ready. Arrows need to be inserted. There we go. 
and fingers crossed. Round five. Yes, yes. I see the <laughs> wolf spawned in on a spike and uh, died pretty fast. Oh, it's shooting quite far actually, that wall. Which is nice. Oh, big guy. He's gonna get shot with arrows a lot of times. Question if, if he will manage to break the uh, spike. Ah, he's dying fairly fast. Oh, still 36 enemies left. That's quite a lot, isn't it? And we just run five. Well, Wolf found a sneaky way. There we go. Oh! I missed those, that's not good. That was actually quite bad. Whoa! Someone destroyed that. We gotta make stone fast. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Stone. Uh, considering picking up a few stones. Yeah, that's enough. Hurry back! Uh, damn it! Eight. go. Ah, Wolf thought it had to figure out what they might have anyways, to be honest. I think something happened on the other side here. Yeah, these guys are annoying. He does quite a fair bit of damage, but seems like he's a bit bugged right now. So he's missing me a lot. This is not something I've seen before, <laughs> but... Oh, oh, damn it. Because he will destroy this beacon very fast. Come on. Ah, oh, yes, victory. Phew. So yeah, uh, th this is the point when these guys start arriving. If your maze is not built well enough and you don't have enough damage, uh, or if they can slip around like he did, if he gets near the beacon, you will lose pretty fast. Oh. Okay. 20 minutes till next beacon, so we can just clean up here. Oh! Cluster grenade, python pistol, metal pants? Oh, turn into a knight <laughs> soon. But again, you have to have discovered or progressed down the tree to actually make any of those. So yeah, it's just gonna go in the chest for now. Seems there was a rifle there. Ah, uh, 
inventory full. Okay. Go back. So, what do we have here? Gonna make this, uh. Ooh! Legendary spear. Oops, I promised myself not to take greens. Keep this, this, this. All the pebbles. That's a shotgun, green shotgun. Nah. So we're gonna drop all these. And like I said before, uh, I don't think it's worth the effort to make the greens. This, however, could be. Uh, so let's see what it. How much better it is? One hundred ninety-three percent damage, almost four hundred percent durability, and this has it's probably yeah it's probably going to be better anyways, regardless. So, whoops, did I drop it? There we go. So we need stone and fiber. Ah, keep pressing the D button. Craft. So this has 62 damage opposed to 47. That is quite a, quite a lot better. And then if we add the uh, melee tools. Yeah, there's nothing in here for improving spears, unfortunately. Well, we're gonna dump that old spear. Then we're gonna put the recipes away. That. Goody, good, goody. Oh, what's a little bit of drink here? Sweet wine. Increases wood collection by 10%. Stacks up to 30 minutes. That's nice. Okay. Did I... Don't know if I got all the... Oh, got all. Get it all here. Sometimes it can be a bit fiddly getting to these once they get tucked inside. I don't think I'm gonna get that one unless I destroy the spike. Is it worth it? Nope. <laughs> I guess I have to rebuild this. What the heck? Okay. Well, I guess I uh, have to be a bit rebuild that as well. Let's see if we can close it off a bit better. Like so. Then make one more here. Wait, wood. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? <coughs> Let's see what's the time doing. We're getting near the end of this little episode. Just wanna finish up the spike maze before we sign off. I 
actually I'm almost inclined to before we go because one of the tasks is making the springboard and the springboard is actually quite funny and useful for this maze and I was thinking now that I see this open spot it would be nice to place the board right here actually so we can attempt to do that if I just see I need to be, make a foundation and then springboard requires six iron ah oh, come on don't have any iron left at all let's see if we there's something up here oh yes we do and what else was it that we needed wood here oh we got lots of wood thank you good so let's see we made this as well and then we go place the foundation if we can yeah i was afraid about that so is there no sweet spot here which means i might have to actually I'd have to destroy this one. And maybe this one. And then... Oh, they're being led that way. Or oh, they should be led that way. Let's make this destroyed. See if we can force them down that way. Then we're gonna place a springboard here. But somewhere. Come on. Like. Come on. Huh. All the way out here? That's far out. See, I want to try and aim it a little bit, like that. Whoops. I can't overlap it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe the, maybe it's fine there. And the reason that matters is because I'm gonna point the springboard so it actually shoots them back this way. So they have to go through it all again. And we have it now, don't we? And you have the, the the arrow points to the direction they're gonna be thrown. I actually want to turn it that way, like that. And you can't see it, but it it is a springboard. And it will flip up once they hit it. And then we are gonna place spikes again, so they kind of get forced onto it. And. Just make a few more. being very fiddly here because I don't want them to be able to pass through I'm put it here let's see what we can do and most of all I really want to close it off actually <coughs> sorry So, oh, this is a bit annoying here. So, hopefully, they won't choose to go around that way because it's so far. 
Then we have to close off here. Which might mean that we should might have to go that way. Might replace this one. This is, this is fine, you know, it's going to make it hard for them to get through. I don't know if they can run past it here, but we'll find out. Uh, but then we got to close this section off here. So the uh, spike flow kind of acts like a section for the uh, arrow wall. More rock. Pretty sure we have more rock up here. Really? Amazing. Oh, thankfully it's easy to get. Hmm. There we go, 24. Can we make two? Yes, we can. Easy way to do this. Okay, I get. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there is, <laughs> but I haven't found it yet. Uh, I guess, guess then close it off here. Just make one more. Just two for safety's sake. So this is silly. Just turning that way. Actually, it should be the other way around. But I, maybe that will prevent them from going through. Let's just see what we can get away with there. Hmm. Then they're gonna come through here, aren't they? Like that's a sweet spot somewhere. Maybe it must be right before there was a sweet spot. Quite far back. I don't like that. We could build another foundation here and then kind of prevent them from passing with an arrow wall or something. Maybe that will do the trick. Let's give it a go. Uh, stop auto. I see it. Ah, it overlaps too much. That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go to the crafting table and make some beast traps. At least then we can stop the dogs because those are the ones who run the fastest. That's not there. Where is it then? Here? I forget where. Is it on the weapons? 
but it does not research those yet. Oh, it's on the metal, that's because, yeah, you need to make a, a metal processor. Or forging table. Copper 935. You know what? This is something for the next episode. Now, I promise I will, uh, well, let's call it for now. Thank you for stopping by, and then I'll promise I'll clean up my chests and make a whole new row of storage. And uh, I hope to see you again next time. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you feel like it, please drop a follow, like, subscribe, and all that. Uh, I'm just trying to make some stuff for the fun of it. Uh, I mean, why not share when I'm playing anyway? So, yeah. Stay tuned, and I uh, hope you have a nice day. Bye.